Hi everybody, we are here for uh, the third video. Uh, finally, we will do the first model uh, in Kodak Air. It will be the easiest uh, model possible, uh, a cantilever beam fixed uh, on one end and uh, with a static force uh, on the other end. First of all, let's start uh, Salome Mecca that we installed uh, last time. So we go in uh, home. If we follow the, the default uh, path uh, that was suggested uh, in the installation, home, there is the Salome Mecca directory. We will go on apply. I have two versions because I have also for compatibility region the old version, but you will have the, the 2019. So we will be here. We will open uh, a terminal uh, dot slash Salome. Uh, here we go. So as I said uh, last time, Salome has, uh, is an ecosystem with many modules. Here there is the first module we will use. Uh, we, you can access it uh, clicking here or with the drop down menu. We will go for geometry of course, and we will create uh, a cantilever beam. Uh, so we will go for uh, a box with uh, the length in the y direction uh, we will go here there is the the problem of the unity that is not at all a problem uh, Kodak Aster is agnostic uh, about the unit so you will have to properly put the, the units you want as I want to go for uh, stresses uh, in megapascal uh, I will use uh, millimeters, newton, uh, ton, uh, seconds, and Celsius degree. So here we will want uh, a cantilever of 100, uh, 100 and a length of one meter. Okay apply and close so we created the cantilever now in the logic of uh, a fem solver uh, we have to define everything because uh, Codaster is uh, a purely numerical solver so we need to give them uh, basically two main uh, parts one part is the mesh that is the geometrical discretization in this part we have to precise uh, all the parts that we want to be understandable uh, by the solver and then a command file where we will define on this geometry what we want to do let's say mechanically so basically here uh, as i said we want this uh, we want this um, this cantilever beam to be fixed uh, on one end uh, let's say the one on the origin uh, and then with the force here so we will have to define some groups uh, we will define uh, we will go here on the geometry we created we will go right click create group the first group uh, is the volumic group you want we want uh, let's say to give to this ba body let's say uh, for example, uh, the material, uh, for example, uh, the gravity load uh, and so on, the density. So here we will create a group, we, we, we will name it uh, BIM, for example, and uh, we will click on the 3D body, say add and apply. Then we want to say that here we want uh, a fixed hand, so we will select here the surface uh, the shape type surface and then we will select this we can select uh, as we want and here we will add this uh, shape and we will call it fix uh, apply and then we will go here and we will say force 
Here we will apply our force, add, apply and close. With these three groups, uh, we are capable to, let's say, create our very simple uh, first model. Now we will go to save it, uh, save as, uh, I have it in uh, desktop, erase, uh, BIM, uh, save. Okay, we will go to the mesh module. We will do the mesh, the simplest mesh possible. In the next tutorial, we will explain very well how to do a good mesh. Now we will go for uh, the simple way, let's say, because I want to show you all the procedure. So we will go to NetGen 1D. Uh, here there are many possibilities. We will go to NetGen 1D, 2D, 3D. So everything will be, say, created by the same uh, NetGen algorithm. Here we will give, uh, let's say, the minimal and the maximum size uh, we will go for uh, 20 for uh, 20. And here there are two uh, options that are very important. Quad dominated uh, means uh, hexahedral. If you do not click uh, quad dominated, uh, you will find a tetrahedral mesh. Uh, here you will create, uh, if you tick it, uh, uh, second order uh, elements. Uh, if you untick it, uh, you will have uh, uh, first order elements. Uh, let's say as a, gener a, a generic rule, uh, uh, a, an hexahedral mesh, so quad dominated, uh, is always better. Uh, the tetrahedral mesh, maybe you will be obliged to use it uh, because you will have, I don't know, uh, carved uh, surface and so on, uh, but basically uh, if you use uh, a tetrahedral mesh, uh, go always on second order. Uh, for uh, the hexahedral mesh, uh, second order is also uh, the best situation. With second order, of course, uh, you will uh, add a uh, lot more of uh, degrees of freedom for your structure, so your uh, model will be heavier. Uh, here we created the mesh, uh, so now we will go to compute. Okay, everything went fine. We are on quadratic mesh. Second order means quadratic. Now we have to import the group in this mesh, right click, create group of geometry. We will take all the three and we will take both the elements as geometry and as nodes in this case. Apply and close. We save and we go to asset study. As the study is the interface uh, to use uh, uh, Codaster. Now we will go to create a new stage. So we will create an analysis. Create a stage uh, means uh, create an analysis. Here you have all the main blocks to run your analysis. The first one is uh, read the mesh. Okay. You will have to read the mesh mesh file location it will be automatically loaded so you will have mesh one okay now uh, there are a lot of other stuff and uh, we will see let's say in the following lesson assign finite elements now we are taking the mesh here that we want and we will say what kind of finite elements we want for the analysis so here we will say everywhere. So in every element we want a, a modelization because we can use also mixed uh, modelization. We can do a part in 3D, a part in 2D, a part in uh, seg2 elements. So we can do everything. There is a lot of freedom in this uh, uh, phenomenon uh, mechanical uh, and then modelization. Uh, we will go for 3D modelization. 
ok and also this uh, is made so now we will create we will define a material ok that will go uh, here linear isotropic elastic because we want something very simple for now had it young modulus uh, let's say that we are dealing with uh, steel uh, in uh, megapascal and poisson ratio will be one time plus okay now we give uh, uh, steel okay so we have uh, steel currently that is now we have to assign this material we can assign also multiple material we will see uh, to the model and uh, everywhere or i can do a group of elements of course because i can say 3d element beam for example Aste study is very user friendly because uh, these are the groups we created uh, in the mesh module uh, now we can see let's say uh, what we are uh, ticking or unticking okay material still okay okay and also for this we are covered now we have to define the boundary condition and load uh, boundary condition and load is assigned mechanical load here we will go firstly with enforce DOF that is degrees of freedom so here we will go let's say blocking on the fixed part group of nodes we will block the displacement of this part as we are in uh, 3d only the degrees of freedom of translation are carried uh, by these nodes so we will block also this otherwise you uh, you can untickle this and do the simple way with encastre okay but we don't want to do that okay so now the three displacement here you you can also let's say give uh, uh, the displacement you want okay load so we create a load here you have the syntaxis uh, internal of codaster we will speak about it now we will assign another that would be a, a load. There are uh, many possibility to put load in Codaster. There is a force nodal that is a force on a node, force face that is a force on a face, uh, force arete that is a force on a hedge, uh, force intern that is a voluminal force, and so on. We, uh, th there is also press ref that is um, a pressure on a surface. Uh, we will go for force face now let's say we are dealing with uh, let's say let's choose the surface force here we are now we want the z direction with uh, a minus now force face is uh, uh, force uh, per surface div divided surface so here we have uh, a, if I remember correctly a 10 by 10 millimeter uh, face so we want uh, let's say a force of uh, 10 kilograms that are 100 uh, Newton nearly so we will have uh, 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 one minus one, okay. Okay. So now everything is defined. Uh, we can do. We can go to the operator. 
statics, static mechanical analysis. We have to define uh, the material field, uh, the model. We will define the loads, okay, one load, then plus the other one because we have one load and one uh, Band, uh, a boundary condition of uh, enforcing loss and uh, then uh, we are okay uh, the analysis will generate only the displacement and for now it's uh, all we want okay here result file location we will go here and we will see cantilever dot armed uh, dot armed means uh, it's the extension that will be needed to read the file uh, by paravis to see the results let's say so for the results we will say uh, sorry uh, we will go then uh, to set uh, output results to uh, print everything then here results reslin uh, then we will go to uh, nom cham and we will go for depl so we are saying that we want to see the displacement okay okay everything is fine now we will go to history view we will put here the plus to run the stage one auto refresh five seconds and we'll go for the run we have to save before Green light, of course, means uh, we did a good job. Uh, red light uh, means that uh, everything is uh, misbehaving. Now we will save again, and we will go here. That is Paravis module. In Paravis module, we have the opportunity to, here in the pipeline browser, if you do not have this uh, setup, uh, you can click here. And if you see what I have now, you can copy this and rearrange it. Uh, these are the basically the most important, in my opinion, uh, uh, let's say sidebar. So here in the pipeline browser, we can go to open, right click open, uh, and then uh, we will go home desktop uh, videos cantilever are mad uh, let's say let's open the, the high okay so now we have here our cantilever here we will see the displacement and uh, here we can see for example the zeta Zeta, the Zeta um, component. If we want to see the deformed shape, we have to go generate vector, apply. Here, this is the the common uh, the common uh, toolbar. We'll go here, deformed shape, warp by vector, apply, and then on the scale factor, we can see the the formation of the cantilever uh, tomorrow we will see how to post process uh, these results because we want uh, the formation we want uh, strains we want to uh, understand uh, the reaction and so on for today is uh, all uh, stay safe uh, live long and prosper